New information now about a case that triggered the review of a private adoption agency in Dayton. It involves a Troy man who pleaded guilty to raping his adopted children. As we reported in the last several days, Kenneth Brandt says he will testify against Patrick Ryder and Jason Zwick. Investigators say those two men answered an online ad posted by Brandt offering one of his sons for sex. But today, the focus was on that adoption agency. Pam Elliott is here with that part of the story. Well, the state called the allegations in the case of Kenneth Brandt horrific and conducted its own investigation of the adoption agency involved to make sure children were not in harm's way. Action stands for Adopting Children Today Information Option Network. The Dayton agency remains open despite the state's discovery of violations there. The handful of violations boil down to this. The Ohio Department of Job and Family Services found Action Inc. used college interns to conduct home visits by themselves. Interns and volunteers are not to replace paid staff. The investigation turned up incomplete forms and records of training for adoptive parents being waived. I spoke with the Deputy Director of Communications for the department via phone. We didn't review a specific case or a specific employee or a specific incident. We reviewed the entire operation. Uh, we found a handful of violations. Um, as I mentioned, we certainly want those violations fixed, uh, but we did not feel like they warranted revocation of the agency's certification. Benjamin Johnson says the agency has submitted an action plan to correct its mistakes, and the state is satisfied with it. That means action certification is good until February 18th, 2014. When we reviewed their adherence to state and federal rules and regulations, we found no reason to revoke their certification, and they remain certified and in good standing with the state of Ohio. Of course, if complaints come to the department's attention, an investigation will follow. Johnson could not and would not say if the violations found in this most recent review had any impact on the adoption of children by Kenneth Brandt, the Troy man pleading guilty to raping the boys he adopted through action. There had been complaints before about action, but never did the state revoke the agency's certification. Now, I looked at the complaints. Here they are. And most of the agency's problems have had to do with lack of documentation. Reporting live, Pam Elliott, 2 News.